he's making meatballs. When you said you were making meatballs this morning, I thought, I've got a meatball recipe. It's quite a classic one, one for our family. My meatballs don't taste like this. These are amazing. Well, let me, let me show you something. Um, we're going to go through this later. Look what they look like when I'm going to finish with the yep. mixture. Very light. Ve it's very light because I use milk and a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, using oh. milk or meatball is a very old tradition from Bologna. Right. Bologna is where they make the Bolognese sauce, right? Yeah. And uh, I met this lady and she uh, showed me the technique of putting milk into the meatball. And I was like, well, this is genius. It's a bit of a revelation because these are absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. What the milk and the bread does, which I'm going to show you now, uh -huh. it tenderizes the uh, meat. So when, you know, sometimes the meatball, they can be quite tough and, yeah. and, and chewy. Um, so what I'm doing, I got a little bit of white uh, uh, bread here. Okay, any white bread we do it. Just put the milk in there. Whatever milk, food fa full fat, uh, uh, you know, or whatever, uh, you know, skinned or whatever, this is fine. Mm. Just mix it like that. In the old days, my mom used to do this also because meat was very expensive. Mm -hmm. So she used to do 50% of bread yeah. and 50% of meat just to cheat. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's something that people oh, use. What change of percentage, if you are actually saving a bit of money, at, yes. what, at what percentage of bread um, would you notice a difference? I think if you go any way above 30% of bread, uh, you will start to notice the difference. Right, okay. Yes, yes. This one, we are still about 20. I can't believe it. So this. it's okay. So what you do, once you create this paste, mm. look, I'm creating a paste mm. with milk and uh, uh, um, bread, then you put the meat in there. I usually like to use two different kinds of meats because uh, be uh, beef and pork. Beef, um, it gives you the texture. Pork or lamb, if you want to use it, it gives you the little bit of fat that you need into the meatball. So Otherwise, they're too lean. Sorry, is pork always the constant? <clears throat> oh. No, beef is always the one that okay. you should use for right. texture. Got, but yeah. then uh, for uh, the fatty bits, you can use pork or you can use lamb. It's important okay. in the meatball to also have a little bit of fat because otherwise, when they are too lean, they become uh, tougher. Yeah. Okay. Now, mix it together. Look that the mixture is going to start to look light uh, uh, brown in colour. Yeah. Once we do that, we put garlic, which I like to crush. Um, parsley, very important on the meatball because I, I think it gives a nice earthy flavour. Mm. Salt and pepper. Very important. And uh, pecorino cheese. You could use parmesan. You know what? I've even used uh, grated cheddar. Okay, okay whatever just you've got there. Put something with cheese because, again, it, may, it tenderizes the uh, uh, meatballs. Once you're done, then you put everything together. Uh, an egg. Okay. And then, guys, you just have to go in with the hands. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because this is, should be quite easy. Look at the mixture, it's beautiful. You know what? The other thing you could do, which I do at home. Uh, you can use this mixture to make burgers. Oh, okay. Which many people d still don't get. It's like, oh, have you got a recipe for... Well, if you've got a good meatball recipe... It's mm -hmm. the same. Just same thing, just Can I flat... ask you, how... Because you don't want to compact it too much, though. That's what I'm going so to show you. Oh, now. all right, then, Look, wait. Because the uh, um, mistake that people do, OK? Yeah. They put the uh, meats into their hands. What they, they, they tend to do is they start to... Press Please. it down. No, 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 no. The meatball should go into your palm yeah. and you should just very lightly roll, roll it. it. Because then you leave the uh, air and texture in the middle. Mm. Okay? The more you're pressing down. Now, once you've done that, guys, what you do, you put them in a tray and you let them rest. Just let them rest. This one will come up about eight meatballs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, just let them rest in the fridge for a good half an hour to an hour. You know, in the in your store, in your, in your cupboard, you've generally got a very old pot of Italian seasoning. It's what it is, what it's called. Could you could, have you ever seen? Have you seen that? No. What do you mean by Italian it's seasoning? It's like it's probably a, oregano and that sort of stuff. I know exactly stuff. what you mean. It's yeah. like different dried herbs. Yeah, with an different Italian dried herbs. Season. Could you add? You know, Philip, I'm going to be honest with you. When we talk about dry herbs. Uh, there is only you two, there's only one dry herb that I use is oregano, mm. oregano, as you guys say. Mm. Anything else, basil, parsley, uh, thyme, uh, rosemary, oh, come on. You're going to have to get a fresh one. Much better. Much better. Forget about the uh, dry one. They are absolutely useless. <laughs> they are. Those little uh, glass bottle. jars, useless, Philip. They're useless. They're not good. I quite like them. Nothing is going to beat... Easier. Nothing Good is going to beat this. I know that that's Nothing abusive, is going to beat I know. The, the, the aroma, the smell mm -hmm. of, of fresh. And, you know, when you do something so simple, at least... You, you just send that to wind me up about your dry things there. No! <laughs> no? 
I can't be the only one who's got dried herbs in I've the I've got cupboard. dried herbs, and if I... If throw I'm them looking, away if you got them, throw them away. If I was planning on doing this, I'd go and buy fresh, but if I suddenly looked in the fridge and I went, oh, I've got a bit of mince, oh, I know, I'll use a bit of that dried stuff in the cupboard, that will be fine. And it would be fine. It will give you a bit of an aftertaste, because all those dry herbs, yes, it does give you an aftertaste. Not if you're doing it properly, as in, like, we'd use fresh. But fresh on, is better. All time. Fresh is better. Now, you got the meatballs. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do, this is the secret. I'm making a tomato sauce, because that's the way we serve them in Italy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick two of these meatballs, and I'm going to put them here, and I'm going to up crumble them into the oil where I fried the meatballs at the beginning. Yep. OK, what I did here, I fried eight meatballs into the oil for about 15 minutes until they all coat it. Yeah. The last two, because we said we're going to make 10 meatballs mm -hmm. after the mixture, you just crumble them into the oil where you fry the meatball, because now you're using this one to flavor the tomato sauce. That's so clever. That's huh? good. And uh, so eight, you're going to eat them whole, and this one, it becomes a little bit like pancetta, mm -hmm. or uh, all those flavors into the sauce. It's so good, this. Now, it? once you yep. crumble them, look what I'm doing. You scrape all the bottom of the pan, because that's where all the flavors are. Once you crumble them, you get your chopped tomatoes, tinned chopped tomatoes. Never use fresh tomatoes for an Italian sauce. It's got the skin, it's got the seeds, you don't want to do that. That one goes straight in. Okay, and remember now, these meatballs, they already have the garlic, the parsley, the mm -hmm. flavor was already there. So it's going to release all this flavor into the tomato sauce. We want to cook this one for about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. just to slightly reduce the sauce. And then I'm going to show you the technique. Okay. Do you know how long you've got left, by the way? Uh, probably, knowing me, uh, a minute and a half? No, 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Okay, basil goes in there. Okay. Then we get the meatball that we previously uh, uh, fried. It goes into the tomato sauce, like this. Yep. Now, guys, at this point, what you want to do, you get a little bit of water, you get the can of the uh, tomato, goes in there. The secret of meatball is like bolognese sauce. You're going to have to cook them slowly for two hours. Mm -hmm. The longer you cook it, and the more flavor they 15 will... 15 seconds. They will release 15 seconds. Look, 10, 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6... There's a quite slow second. 5, <laughs> two, four, one, two. Beautiful. And once Thank you make you, the meatball... All the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas <laughs> after <laughs> 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 this morning. Then you can put them in higher.